Hello. Uh, okay, this is a project with ACES profile, and basically ACES is these two adjustment layers. Uh, the first one converts ACES CG to sRGB, and the next one fixes gamma. This is the settings, and. Um, the footage, for example, from Redshift now comes in ACES color space. Well, it's li lin linear color space, but uh, it's for ACES as long as I understand it. So, right now, it's it, I just uh, you know just dra drag and drop dropped it and right now it looks uh, very over bright and all you need to do is to position it right here now it will it will be right uh, like when you rendered it in 3ds max using redshift just like that just like there um, okay, I wanted to show you some other things. For example, how can you color correct it? Uh, you can you can't just use, for example, Lumetri because it needs some more things. Uh, these things. You need to convert. The footage from ACES CG to ACES CCT. Now apply Lumetri and do a backwards conversion like that. So without all, I re reset Lumetri so it uh, right now it doesn't do anything. And uh, if I disable the all, all effects, all this three effects, nothing will happen. It's perfectly like it was before. So, now, if we use Lumetri, it will it will do all the magic it should do. In the right way. Without, without those things, it will do... Uh, you see? It will do very strange things. Oh, by the way, you can you can notice when any plugin does strange things in Aces color space when you uh, check uh, the color. It will be point point uh, six point six point seven. You see, it's it's point sixty two. Everywhere, it should be white. It's not. That means uh, the effect is uh, working wrong, and it needs some color conversion. Now, it's working right, and because I cranked up exp exposure, uh, it's over over brightened. But now it's working correctly. So almost every effect needs this, but not, uh, I mean, only Lumetri needs conversion from ACCG to ACC CCT. For example, if you have a Sabre plugin right here, uh, well, it looks, it, it looks normal, actually, but if you probe the core, it should be white. I mean, it should be very bright. But still, we see right here 0 0.62, 0 0.61 numbers. And <clears throat> they are wrong numbers. To fix it, you need to convert this effect 
like that. And vert aces to aces CG. And now the core is almost uh, one. <laughs> As you can see, one. <laughs> It's it's full brightness and it looks well it looks cooler looks brighter looks more vibrant <clears throat> and so on and <clears throat> actually it will it will be uh, applied to other layers better too And you, as long as I understand, you need to use add uh, all the time, not screen. But screen also works good. But everywhere I use add, it's just doing good too, very good. So, uh, another effect, for example, is no light factory. And uh, without without that oh by the way saber without col uh, color conversion looks looks very bad as you can see it's just not right and with color cor correction conversion sorry so no light factory again it's it looks very dim but it should be very bright and with color conversion it looks awesome Uh, okay, and if you have uh, footage which you, I don't know, found on internet, I don't have it right here, it was a footage from my camera, it's a regular image, uh, and it needs such conversion too, just to uh, be pro processed correctly by ACES by ACES standards. I'm not sure what what standards, but okay, the the last one I want the last one thing that I want to show you is if you use color grading things like a magic bullet looks this I don't use it anymore it was old project. So uh, from the old project. Okay, if you use looks you need to position it uh, between this and this, between these two adjustment layers, because it only works normally right here. Uh, but, okay, for example, you already made everything here and rendered it. How can you apply looks after that? I made a separated composition where looks can be applied after making all other adjustments in ACES setup. And as you can see, it's not that easy to. Right here, you need to convert ACES setup, your, your ACES scene, to, well, sRGB, I guess. And the, the picture looks not so good. And then you need to convert, you need to use looks and then convert it backwards. <laughs> and then it will just work. <laughs> I, I watched those videos about ACES for a uh, several times and uh, several videos about ACES and I did it did this project only once and now I'm just I'm just using it it's very simple okay I hope it all helps you thank you very much